it's funny sometimes when people ask me how much time I spend on preparing for this discourse project. <laughs> to be truthful, I never even prepare one. I'm not telling others should not prepare for, but from my part, I don't prepare. They just type it up. I just come here and then start off. <laughs> Why? Because it's not that it's a gift of God or I have a born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Maybe years of struggle in this field of social service and the bloodiest spot in the world, only the blood, without seeing the blood, we come out, don't come out of the ring. And as time passed, we started melting with the bloodiest spot, blood, and you has become a part of your style that you demonstrate the extremes of your talent. <laughs> yes, and then you melt with the other person, you and the other person when it becomes one, there is no need of a dictionary language, you borrowed knowledge. That must have helped me to just directly speak on topics, especially Zen is a very difficult nut to crack. <laughs> 84th story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Reps. This is 1290th day non-stop, which we are trying to load it up. True friends. A long time ago in China, there were two friends, one who played the harp skillfully and one who listened skillfully. There is always two people in this world. One is the speaker, another is the listener. Yes. One who gives the lectures, another listens. But both were theoretical. They were not practical. N neither they both melted to become one. Even though the, the musician played and others clapped and danced, they now never ever melted to become one. Hence, both remained a, a, a basket which can collect all the waste, allowing waste to come in because they were always trying to take it. Yes. Somebody gives it and when you get a chapali, you receive that basket full of waste. Hence, there are two listeners. Long time ago in China, there were two friends, one who played the harp skillfully, one who listened skillfully. Both were still listening, but when the practicality was not there, they couldn't see the truth. And in the truth, they couldn't look into the mirror to see the God. Because the mirror is full of dust, they forgot to clean the dust. When the one played or sang about a mountain, the other would say, I can see the mountain before us. When the one played about water, the listener would exclaim, here is a running stream. Yes. Both were correct. In the college, in the schools, you spent around 12, 15 years from the kindergarten to your 12th standard. Then, then to the college, another five years. It's a long period of 18 years, 18 years or 12 years in the Gurukula. You spent, but in the practical world, you have been forced to put into you. So the when the one played about water, yes, when somebody talked about water, you could listen. You are a good listener. Of course, listening is very good. Here is a running stream. Yes, the running stream was very beautiful. Yes, they could, the listeners will always understand they are conscious but that consciousness is not uh, on the bottom of the heart it was at the tip of the heart people think a good listener i used to tell yes a listener don't li listen from here don't listen from your bum i used to scold but listening alone is not enough if you listen and it goes to your brain it becomes logical if you listen from here it goes to your heart Heart. Then 
husband and wife can become one. When and the wife listens and goes to the logic into the head, then it becomes a dictionary and borrowed knowledge. That's where the fight is because you try to extricate it, you try to disseminate it to find out a meaning according to what the society needs. Not your talent, not your love. But when it listens and it goes to your heart, then anything coming from the mouth of the father is just gospel of truth. Mother is gospel of truth. From the husband to the wife is just gospel of truth. And from the wife to the husband, it is not gospel of truth. It is a song. It's Carnatic music. Yes. Mm -hmm.